Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm going to show you how to make millions, potentially in minutes, in No Man's Sky. The goal here is to make millions of units as fast as possible, and a lot of them. And what you need to do is to visit a space station, and there's a caveat to this, but I'm going to show you. So I've got 266,000 units at the moment, which is obviously not very many. But I'm going to show you in a second how we're going to turn that into about 160 million in relative speed. It took me about 10 minutes. One requirement to this is you will need a lot of cobalt. You can see that I've got stacks of 9,999, multiple stacks. You'll need at least 10 potentially to get the best results out of this. So once you've got that many stacks of cobalt, and I'll show you how to do that later on, you go to the Galactic Trade Terminal. Now, first step is to make sure that they sell cobalt in the first place. If they do, buy it up because it'll be useful to do that. And then head over to the sell section. You'll see that we can sell this cobalt here for 25 million. So we can sell that over to them for 25 million. And then what we can do is we can go back and we can buy it back again for 4 million. So you can sell it for 25, buy it back for 4. So we've now made uh, an extortionate amount of money. So we've gone from 266,000 units to 20 million units with relative speed. And you can see I still have all my cobalt. So that's step one. Step two is then to repeat this process by visiting every space station you've been to. So if you've walked to a multitude of different regions in space and you've gone to the space stations there, you can then use the teleporter to just walk to the next space station. So choose yourself a space station, head over to there and repeat the process. One thing to remember though is that you also need to make sure they sell cobalt. This is really important. The Galactic Trade Terminal needs to sell cobalt before you sell yours. You've got to make sure you can buy it from there before you sell it. Now to get multiple space stations you just need to walk to another region, visit the space station and repeat that process multiple times. Once you've done that you've got access to loads of space stations so you can then just go and repeat this process. Again make sure you check that they sell cobalt in the first place and then you want to head over and sell your own cobalt and check how much you're making. So we've got 20 million this time. So we're selling the cobalt for 20 million and then once again we're going to buy it back. And now it will buy back for 4 million. So we're now up to 55 million units with a just a couple of sales. Obviously this is a lot of cobalt but don't worry because I will show you how to get that in a minute. That does take a little bit more effort, but once you get it, you can basically just keep generating money. Now, an important thing to do while you're doing this is to make sure you save regularly. So just head over to your ship, get in it, and then get back out again to make sure you save that save point because what you might find is you might accidentally sell cobalt to the wrong place and you can't buy it back and you've lost it all so that would be a disaster because then you have to start grinding to get that cobalt again. Another tip that I'd suggest is when you're at the space stations just head over to the exosuit person because this is worth doing as well especially once you've started making money head over here to the exosuit side and get yourself an exosuit upgrade. They cost a million which is obviously chump change, now you're making all this money, so you can buy one of those every time you go and then you've got more space in your inventory, which is always welcome. Now, if you look in the top left, I've repeated this process a few times and cut some of it out, but now up to 152 million units. Also, I'd recommend buying oxygen from every space station that you visit, and I'll show you why in a second. And then just keep repeating this process. Now, watch out if you do go to a space station and you go to sell your cobalt and it's only for a really low amount, like 4 million or something, I wouldn't sell it there. Make sure it's a really high amount. If you've got loads of cobalt, you want to make sure it's selling for roughly the same amount each time. If you sell it for a really low amount then you might not be able to make the same level of profit and it could cause problems and obviously you don't want to get in a position so you can see here I can only sell it for three million at this place so if you sold it for three million you bought it back you might buy back for a lot more money and then you end up losing money instead of making it and our goal is obviously to sell for more than we're buying now I want to show you two important ingredients to this process one of them is oxygen so you need a lot of oxygen so what you want to do is look for an oxygen rich planet what I found is this planet here which has oxygen basic everything on the planet so you can see these weird looking rocky shards in the sky and on the ground basically every single one of those things has oxygen in it which is pretty awesome the atmosphere is also oxygen rich so what I've done is I've built both oxygen harvesters and atmosphere harvesters on the planet and I built as many as it could possibly do and I had some friends help me do this but we essentially have a mass of different oxygen and atmosphere harvesters spread out all over the place you will need a lot of oxygen for this process and these machines 
give you about 250 oxygen every time they fill up and then you have to keep powering them up with carbon. So find a planet that will do this and just keep churning it out. I'd also recommend just buying oxygen every time you visit a trader or you meet someone that's selling something. Just buy all their oxygen up whenever you get the chance. And you'll also need a little bit of cobalt from them as well. You don't need as much. The focus here is the oxygen. The oxygen is really vital to this process. And then you'll obviously just find a planet that you can do this on. So look for something that's habitable and also just absolutely heaving with oxygen. And you can see just how many oxygen harvesters I've got going on here. So you need a lot in order to do this as quickly as possible and to optimize it. And the next point is to build a large refiner. We're going to use this to combine the oxygen with some cobalt. So I've obviously already got loads of cobalt, but let's just pretend for a minute that I haven't and you've only got a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in with the oxygen and that will make ionized cobalt. And what it does is it actually gives you a much higher ratio of ionized cobalt than you have cobalt. So you put in a little bit of cobalt, you get a bit more of ionized cobalt in. So I'm just going to demonstrate that now. So what you can see is you put 20 cobalt in with your oxygen and you end up with 50 ionized cobalt. So we've more than doubled the amount of cobalt by essentially turning it into ionized cobalt with a higher level. Once you take your ionized cobalt and combine it with oxygen, you're also increasing it there. So you can see I've got 50 ionized cobalt. That is now going to generate into 300. So combining things with oxygen increases them. We will repeat that process again by dragging the ionized cobalt back over to the other side and generate it again we're now taking 300 into 1800 so we've gone from a very small amount of cobalt into a massive amount of ionized cobalt so that's obviously really good and it doesn't take that long to do and if you've got multiple refiners you can do this multiple times really easily once that's done then just delete out the oxygen and now we're just going to take the ionized cobalt that we have and you are going to process that so you can take your ionized cobalt and you can put it in on its own and then you can process that back into cobalt so you can see 10 ionized cobalt goes into 20 so if you have absolutely loads of ionized cobalt you can process that back into cobalt so what you're basically doing is taking oxygen and cobalt maximizing it into ionized cobalt then turning it back into cobalt at a much higher level and then you end up with stacks and stacks and stacks and sell them all for profit this has been the provoke prawn thanks for watching my god yeah, mostly ferrite dust where are you oh my god what is that look at that dude henry henry come oh, look at this looks like alf can you ride that thing I am riding up. Wait, what? Are you? Well, are you? I can see a backpack sticking out at the top. You just inside oh, yeah. it, or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the backpack. Oh yeah, you can tell it's because he's got like the half.